Hello, precious standards. How are you, wonderful people of God? You know, it is Lakedra. I have come on here again. I am so excited because God is really answering prayers. Your prayers will be answered, precious standards. It doesn't matter what it looks like. God is faithful. You know, we've been hearing testimonies and we just been hearing the word of God, seeing the faithfulness of him. God has already heard you the moment you prayed. It doesn't matter what it looks like. As long as you have made your request known unto God, He is going to keep His promise with you. Believe that you've received what you've asked for and the Lord Jesus Christ says it will be yours. And that settles it. Declare the word of God. Begin to call forth what is yours. Declare those things that be not as though they are. As the scriptures say, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined unto his wife. And the two are united into one. It is a great mystery. It is the blessings of God. It is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. And God's power is able. The Holy Spirit is the creator of your marriage. Welcome him. Worship the Lord God, hallelujah, the one who is, the one that is coming through for you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Nothing is too hard for God. He takes care of his people. Cast all your cares upon him. It is done. Claim it every day. You know, for many, I know there are struggles. I know that there is heartache and heartbreak. But the key is having faith in God. Jesus said, have faith in God. When you have faith in God, he said, you will have the power and the boldness to tell that thing to go and throw itself in the sea. You will have the boldness, hallelujah, to tell the devil to get behind you. Nothing can shake you when your faith is in God. Only those who is filled with doubt and unbelief. Jesus said, you know, like the pagans, you know, they let the things of this world dominate their thoughts. They they walk by sight instead of faith. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Our trust is in the Lord and whose trust is in the Lord will never be put to shame. That loved one of yours that you are standing in the gap for, seeking salvation for, it is done. Jesus has already paid the price and shed his blood for them. All you do is go and intercede on their behalf. Take their name before the Lord. Hallelujah. Placing that spouse before him. Casting that care upon the Lord. It is done. The Lord never turned away anyone. He never cast away anyone. He didn't say, you know, no, it's not for you. And no, it's not for this one. And it's not for that one. All those that came to him were healed. And that was under the old covenant. But think about the new, where all can come now boldly to the throne of grace and receive mercy in time of need and trouble. God is for marriages. It's him who created it. It was his idea. God hates divorce. So you have everything on your side. You have heaven backing you up. God is backing you up as you are standing for the soul of your loved one or your children and Whoever else you are standing in the gap for, God's word will not return back void. He said, just believe you received it. You asked for it, not receive it. it. It is yours. It's all on you and having faith in God. And so Jesus paid the price. He thinks about you all the time. He thinks about every soul. You know, he says, not one sparrow can fall to the ground without him knowing about it. God cares about the flowers and the birds and he cares about everything that concerns you. And so it is done. Claim it. Hallelujah. And tell the devil to get behind you. Cast down all those wicked thoughts and imaginations and every high thing that would try to exalt itself against the knowledge of truth. God's word is the truth. It is the final say. And so we're not fighting from a place of, of failure. We are fighting from a place of victory. Jesus has already came and shed his blood. And we, therefore, we have overcame the devil by the blood, the blood that was shed for us. 
Jesus was wounded for each and every one of our transgressions. And he was bruised for even that spouse of yours iniquities. And the chastisement of that spouse of yours peace was upon him. And with his stripes they were healed. We have received all these blessings. They are yours. What can stop them? Except you not receiving them by faith and believing the word of God. Hallelujah. We know that the power of God is, is what defeated death, hell, and the grave. And so why can't the power of God defeat this thing that has come in your home to bring destruction and separate what God has joined together? This power reconciles. You and your spouse. God already knew these things before they ever happened. He had already made a way for you. He had already planned your life. And his plans for your life was for you to prosper. You and your spouse to be one flesh. That marriage illustrate Christ and the church united into one. Not, not for it to be a divorce. Not for your home to be broken up. Your children going through all this heartbreak and, and they getting discouraged. And this is not what imitate Christ and the church. Jesus came to take on our punishment so that we could be free. He came so that we will be healed. Your marriage has already been healed. Jesus paid the price for every area of your life to be restored. Be restored back to the things that God had planned for you before the foundation of the world. It was never God's intention for marriages to be destroyed. Jesus said that was never God's original plan. What God has joined together, he said, let no man separate. Stand on that people of God. Don't receive what you are seeing in your marriage. Take your authority. God has given you power over all the power of the devil power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the works that has come in to destroy what he has joined together you don't have to receive that take your authority god is waiting on us to stand and having done all to stand hallelujah and so it is done you just call forth those things that be not as though they are and expect them to come to pass, the Lord Jesus Christ says. He says, you say it out of your mouth. You sow seeds in your own garden. That would be your harvest. Not complaining. Remember when the children of Israel were in the wilderness. And their complainings. Remember how it brought forth snakes and serpents. And it bit many of them and many of them died. Well, just think about the things that we say out of our mouth. What is it bringing forth? Only death. It is bringing forth corruption. It is what's destroying the very things God has given us. And so look into the author who is the finish of our faith. The one who has already paid the price. This is how you're going to succeed. Trusting in him. The word of God was already written for us. And now we must wait patiently. For them to be fulfilled they are coming to pass but have you spoken them have you spoken these things to come to pass because the lord say you will have whatsoever you say so what you have been saying expect them to come to pass hallelujah marriages are healed because so many of you all have spoken it your marriages are are healed in the name of Jesus. Many of you all have been standing on that promise and it will be fulfilled at just the right time. It will be fulfilled in its season. It will be fulfilled in its time. Get ready for the best is yet to come. It doesn't matter how long it's been. Those very words you have spoken, they are coming to pass. They are life. They are living. They are what you can expect to happen in your future. They are what's coming to pass. So continue declaring the word of God. Stand on his promises. And thank God for giving you life. Life and death. And placing that power in the tongue. In your tongue. Thank the Lord that his power is in your tongue. Thank the Lord that there is healing in your tongue, virtue in your tongue, power and resurrection. 
power and the resurrection power of God. Hallelujah. And so claim the promises and stand on them. For they are yes and amen. They are done. They are done. Now receive them, the Lord says. Believe that you received them. Believe that you got them. Many are going to have to continue renewing their mind. Building up your faith. You can't do nothing without the word. You're going to have to hear the word every day. To keep yourself encouraged. To keep yourself reminded of what God says. And this is what brings faith. This is what causes faith to be with you when you're speaking the word of God. And you're going to see them manifest and come to pass in your life. Hallelujah. And so I want to pray for that one that may be about to give up. You're needing someone to stand and be in agreement with you. I stand in agreement with every one of you all. Believe God. Hallelujah. He says when you pray, believe you've received them and they will be yours. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray and thank God for what is ours and what is coming to pass. And nothing can stop it. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that our marriages are blessed. Father God, I stand in agreement with that standard right now. Who is standing on your word and your promises. Oh God, thank you that you are bringing it to pass. We bind the works of the devil. We call this marriage healed. We call reconciliation right now to come forth. And we thank you, Lord God, that it is coming. It will be fulfilled in Jesus' holy name. We bind the works of the devil. We cast out discord and hostility. We cast out destruction and lies of the enemy and all of his plans. We cast them out in the name of Jesus. The Lord God is our strength. The Lord God is with us. Thank you, Lord God, for the blessings of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, you are prospering these marriages and they shall illustrate Christ and the church united into one. We call it done and we declare that they will manifest and come forth in Jesus name. Divorce cases, you are being overturned in Jesus name. Reconciliation is coming forth. We declare it in Jesus' name. Thank you for the peace and the love and the joy that are in our marriages. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are causing husbands to love their wives as their own bodies. You are causing wives to be submitted unto their own husbands and everything. And what has come in to separate what you have joined together, we cast it out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, for the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for doing what you have promised in our lives. We love you for we know there is no lying in you. We receive these promises for they are yes and amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for making a way for us when there seemed to be no way. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for bringing us out of the pit. Oh, Father God, into the palace and for that one that is hurting and, and that is feeling so defeated. Oh, God, may you strengthen them, raise them up and bring healing. Raise them up, oh God, and give them that assurance and that faith that all is well. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And I thank you for every stand, the Lord God, that has joined me. And even for many that have sown. May you bless the works of their hands. May you, Lord God, prosper them in all that they do. In Jesus' name. And thank you for opening up that door for them. That was shut, Lord God, hallelujah, and you are shutting doors that needed to be shut. In Jesus' name, we praise you and thank you, Lord God, for the best that is yet to come. That salvation, Lord God, that you are bringing forth in the lives of our loved ones. And the people of God rejoice and we say amen, hallelujah, amen. Remember, people of God, Jesus says, just receive it. It has already been given. Now you receive it. You believe that you've received these things and that they are coming to pass. The law says, and they will come to pass. You're going to see the manifestation and the restoration and the salvation in that spouse of yours and that marriage, people of God. The very words you have been speaking out of your mouth, they are going forth and they will not return back void. Remember that God loves you. Get ready for the best is yet to come. There are coming more and more testimonies, more greater, more greater than you could have imagined. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. Keep yourself standing. 
but God would never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you in all that you do. And until next time, bye-bye.